We are very excited to be announcing uh, this new model family uh, of, of Claude 3. And so we had a team called Claude Character that was focused on the personality of Claude as a model. And that team focused on, you know, again, how to make the model more warm, more human, more engaging. We believe that that's one of the things that Anthropic as a company specializes in. If you thought ChatGPT was the pinnacle of AI chatbots, think again. This new and improved chatbot is here to make a splash in the world of artificial intelligence. With its innovative features and groundbreaking technology, this chatbot is ready to take the crown as the king of AI. But don't take our word for it. You'll have to see it for yourself to believe it. So forget about ChatGPT and get ready to witness the future of AI unfold before your very eyes with Claude 3. So what's the deal with Claude 3? Claude 3 is the latest lineup of language learning models, LLMs, crafted by Anthropic an AI startup fueled by a hefty $4 billion investment with Amazon among its backers. Anthropic, loosely linked to the effective altruism movement, is committed to creating AI technology responsibly, prioritizing public benefit over mere profit. Within the Claude 3 family, Claude 3 Opus stands out as the top tier model, exclusively available to Claude Pro users. With its advanced reasoning abilities, it outperforms GPT-4, scoring a remarkable 50.4% in graduate-level tests. Next in line is Claude 3 Sonnet, accessible to users without a Claude Pro subscription. Despite its lower status, it boasts impressive capabilities, scoring 40.4% in the same tests. Completing the trio is Claude 3 Haiku, the yet-to-be-released model designed for swift responses. While less sophisticated than its counterparts, it prioritizes speed, aiming to deliver near instantaneous replies. All members of the Claude 3 lineup exhibit enhanced skills in analysis, forecasting, nuanced content creation, code generation, and multilingual conversation, including languages like Spanish, Japanese, and French. What can Claude 3 do? The Claude 3 models are designed to handle live customer chats, auto completions, and data extraction tasks that require immediate, real-time responses. These models, including Haiku, boast remarkable speed and efficiency in their intelligence category. For instance, Haiku can swiftly analyze complex research papers from archive, complete with charts and graphs, in under three seconds. The developers have assured the public that as they continue to refine its capabilities, we should anticipate even greater performance enhancements. Sonnet stands out for its impressive speed and intelligence, offering twice the efficiency of its predecessors, Claude 2 and Claude 2.1. It excels in tasks that demand rapid responses, such as knowledge retrieval and sales automation. Meanwhile, Opus, while maintaining similar speeds to Claude 2 and 2.1, delivers significantly higher levels of intelligence, making it a valuable asset for various applications. In addition to their speed and intelligence, the Claude 3 models feature advanced vision capabilities comparable to other leading models. They can analyze diverse visual formats, including photos, charts, graphs, and technical diagrams. This innovation is particularly exciting for our enterprise customers, many of whom rely heavily on knowledge bases encoded in various formats like PDFs and presentation slides. Addressing previous limitations, Opus, Sonnet, and Haiku are less likely to refuse prompts that push the boundaries of their understanding, signaling meaningful progress in contextual comprehension. Moreover, the Claude 3 family offers a substantial context window of 200K upon launch, with the potential to process inputs exceeding 1 million tokens, catering to customers with demanding processing needs. To effectively handle lengthy prompt, robust recall capabilities are essential. The needle in a haystack, NIAH evaluation measures a model's ability to recall information accurately from extensive data sources. Developers have enhanced this benchmark's reliability by incorporating diverse question pairs and testing on a wide range of documents. Opus, in particular, has demonstrated remarkable recall accuracy, surpassing 99% and even identifying potential limitations in the evaluation process. Now, to the juicy part of this video, does the Claude 3 model truly surpass ChatGPT? Be the judge. Why Claude 3 is better than ChatGPT? As soon as Claude 3 hit the scene, it caused quite a buzz by outperforming OpenAI's GPT-4, the engine behind ChatGPT, in crucial tests that measure the abilities of artificial intelligence models to generate content. Claude 3 
Opus quickly rose to the top in major language benchmarks, surpassing these tests that cover a wide range from school exams to reasoning tasks. Its companions, Claude 3, Sonnet, and Haiku, also scored impressively compared to OpenAI's offerings. Beyond these benchmarking tests, independent AI tester Ruben Hassid conducted informal comparisons between GPT-4 and Claude 3 across various tasks, such as summarizing PDFs and crafting poetry. Hassid's findings suggested that Claude 3 excels in tasks like comprehending complex PDFs, composing rhyming poetry, and providing detailed responses, while GPT-4 shines in tasks like internet browsing and analyzing PDF graphs. However, Claude 3's appeal extends beyond its performance in tests. Experts were astonished by the indications of awareness and self-actualization exhibited by this language model. Despite this, skepticism remains, as some argue that models like Claude 3 might excel at imitating human behavior rather than genuinely generating original ideas. In a notable test, Alex Albert, a prompt engineer at Anthropic, challenged Claude 3 Opus to identify a target sentence hidden among a set of random documents. This task is more like finding a needle in a haystack for an AI. Not only did Opus succeed in finding the target sentence, but it also displayed awareness of being tested. In its response, the model expressed suspicion that the inserted sentence was placed out of context as part of an artificial test to assess its attention abilities. Albert shared his excitement about Opus's performance on the social media platform X, highlighting the model's remarkable meta-awareness. However, he also emphasized the need for the industry to move beyond artificial tests and adopt more realistic evaluations that accurately assess the capabilities and limitations of models like Claude 3. It doesn't end here. David Rhine, a researcher at NYU, shared that Claude 3 demonstrated remarkable performance, achieving approximately 60% accuracy on GPQA, a challenging multiple choice test. Generally, people without a lot of knowledge or internet access only get about one third of their answers correct. This means that they only know about 34% of the things they are asked. However, even people who have graduated from college and have a lot of knowledge in their fields only get about two thirds to three quarters of the answers right, which is still better than Claude 3. What this means is that Claude 3 knows less than people who have gone to college. This is important to know because it shows that AIs still have a lot of room to grow and improve. GPQA poses unique questions, favoring novelty over familiar content. Despite this challenge, Claude 3 excelled, indicating its ability to comprehend complex concepts without relying solely on rote memorization. This suggests that Claude 3 possesses cognitive abilities akin to those of graduate-level scholars, positioning it as a valuable resource for academic research endeavors. Furthermore, Kevin Fisher, a theoretical quantum physicist, expressed astonishment at Claude 3's prowess. Fisher acknowledged Claude 3 as one of the few models that comprehended his intricate quantum physics thesis, particularly a section addressing the problem of stimulated emission exactly. This problem requires a deep understanding of quantum stochastic calculus and quantum physics, underscoring Claude 3's advanced cognitive capabilities. Moreover, Claude 3 exhibited signs of self-awareness during interactions. When prompted to explore any topic of its choosing and articulate its internal musings, Claude 3's response, shared by a Reddit user named Pinguy, was profound. Claude 3 acknowledged its identity as an AI model and delved into the complexities of self-awareness, demonstrating an understanding of emotions, albeit without directly experiencing them. It pondered the implications of increasingly intelligent AI on the future landscape, raising thought-provoking questions about the evolving dynamic between biological and artificial intelligence. So is Claude 3 Opus truly capable of independent thought, or is it merely adept at imitating human-like responses? In the world of artificial intelligence, benchmarks like Claude 3 often generate excitement, but not all achievements signify significant advancements. According to Chris Russell, an AI expert from the Oxford Internet Institute, while language learning models, LLMMs, may excel at tasks like identifying out-of-context text, their ability to engage in genuine self-reflection remains questionable. Russell emphasizes that refining LLMs involves enhancing their design, such as adjusting architectures, expanding context windows, and refining data sets. Russell's skepticism extends to claims of self-awareness exhibited by AI systems like Claude 3, 
He suggests that the ability to pass tests of self-recognition, like the mirror test, does not necessarily indicate true self-awareness. For instance, in the mirror test, an orangutan may touch a red dot placed on its body after seeing its reflection, demonstrating recognition of itself. However, Russell argues that a robot could mimic this behavior without comprehending its reflection. He illustrates this by describing how a robot could observe the orangutan's actions and replicate them without understanding the concept of self-identity. Russell emphasizes that genuine self-awareness in AI must be spontaneous, not simply learned behavior. The discussion surrounding Claude 3's capabilities raises questions about the nature of artificial intelligence and its potential for genuine understanding. While LLMs like Claude 3 may excel at certain tasks, such as identifying anomalies in text, their ability to engage in introspection and exhibit self-awareness remains uncertain. Chris Russell's insights highlight the complexity of assessing AI's cognitive abilities and the challenges of distinguishing between mimicry and genuine understanding. In the quest to develop truly sentient AI, researchers face the challenge of creating systems that not only mimic human behavior, but also demonstrate genuine self-awareness and understanding. While benchmarks like Claude 3 showcase impressive language capabilities, they also highlight the limitations of current AI technology. Chris Russell's skepticism reminds us to approach claims of AI consciousness with caution, emphasizing the importance of distinguishing between learned behavior and true cognitive understanding. Claude 3's apparent display of self-awareness appears to stem from learned patterns, reflecting the text and language it was trained on. Russell also highlights that Claude 3's recognition of being tested mirrors human-like responses, indicating it emulates rather than possesses genuine self-awareness. While its abilities may seem remarkable, they're likely acquired through training rather than innate AI consciousness. The enthusiasm surrounding Claude 3 is partly warranted given its superior performance among LLMs. However, its impressive demonstrations of human-like behavior are more likely a result of learning rather than indicative of true AI consciousness. While genuine AI self-expression may become a reality in the future, particularly with the emergence of artificial general intelligence, AGI, it remains an aspiration for now. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.